What's up, everybody? Jump in here. So apparently, according to NeoGaff.com, PlayStation 4 is dominating Xbox One on first day pre-order sales. Now these are on some major websites like Amazon.com, GameStop.com, and Best Buy.com. And if you take a look at Amazon, you have the PlayStation 4 as the number one pre-order, followed up immediately by the Xbox One, no surprise really. If you go down to GameStop, now this is where it gets a little interesting, because they're just doing bundles. The PlayStation 4 Call of Duty Ghost Bundle is number one. Of course, Call of Duty number one, we know this. But if you look, there's so many bundles that are just PlayStation 4. 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then finally, Xbox One Battlefield Bundle is number 7. But a PlayStation 4 controller, a controller is beating out the Xbox One for GameStop.com. That is hilarious. Moving down to Best Buy. Now, one thing about Best Buy, it's a major electronics store. A lot of these items on this list, is they have nothing to do with PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. For example, The Last of Us is number one for PlayStation 3, Animal Crossing 3DS, you have an Xbox 360 controller, Turtle Beach headset, but number three on this list is the PlayStation 4 console, and number ten is the Xbox One Day One Edition console. I'm actually really enjoying this. Just the fact that Xbox is not getting pre-ordered as much, it's awesome. Now remember guys, this is based on 6, 17, 13. So these numbers can change, but I do not believe that the PlayStation is going to get worse. I think that the PlayStation will continue to dominate, and these numbers will increase for PlayStation as time goes on, and decrease for Xbox One as time goes on. So what does this mean? You might be wondering, like, what's, what's important about this? I think that this is saying that the hardcore gaming crowd, they're the ones who I would imagine would pre-order this soon to just flat out buy the console maybe or to pre-order games. Casual gamers, I would imagine, would maybe go, you know, wait a while, kind of like figure out which console is best for them and then make their decision and also, you know, based on the games or whatever. But a hardcore gamers are going to pretty much make their decisions right away, pre-order their console, pre-order their games, and all that. Now, the Xbox 360 was really the hardcore gaming console. I believe that those players, the majority of hardcore gamers, are going to go to PS4 because of all the restrictions that Microsoft is doing. So, that is one of my major reasons for going to PS4 myself. I want to go where the people are going, where my people are going, the hardcore gaming crowd. It's like a ship. Do you want to go down with the ship? Or do you want to get on that lifeboat? Because everyone else is running to the lifeboats. They're trying to save their life and move on. When you're standing there saying, nope, I'm just going to go ahead and go down with this ship. So that's one way of looking at it. That's the way I look at it. I want to go where the people are going. And the hardcore gamers, they matter to me. Because when I play a game, like a multiplayer game, I want competition. Not only do I want competition, but I want to be able to team up with people who are as good as me in a game or better. Because that's the only way you'll get better, is to play with people who are good to play with people who are better than you so you can learn from them and also to play against good players because then you'll learn a lot as well from the competition. PS3 didn't really have that as much. I always heard that, that the players on Call of Duty and Battlefield for PlayStation 3 weren't as good as the players on 360. And I would say that I believe that was true. And I based that off of all these people who told me this and the Xbox 360 was the hardcore gamers console now PC there's a lot of hardcore gamers on PC I'm not saying there's not but we're talking about consoles here that's what really matters PS4 versus Xbox one the PC is great I'm not saying it's not it's probably superior to the consoles but a lot of people don't have the money to buy an amazing PC and I know you might say, well, you can build a PC and save a lot of money, 
the price of building a PC is less than the consoles themselves. That's true, but not everyone knows how to build a PC. So we're going to just stick with consoles here and really talk about PlayStation 4 versus Xbox One. The way I look at it is that we have an opportunity as gamers. I came up with the phrase, we the gamer, and I strongly believe in it. We, the gamer, can change Microsoft's decision by simply not buying their console. And hopefully, if we can do this, they will take away those restrictions on the Xbox One. If they do, I will probably buy one. But I will not buy an Xbox One until they do. So hopefully they can do this through an update or release a new version of the console. I did a video and I said they, they could release a new console. I don't mean like an Xbox Two, you know, woo! I mean like a new version, like an Xbox One Elite or a Slim, something like that. You know, I see a lot of comments and it seems to me that the most common argument for Xbox One is kind of arrogant. A lot of people say, well, I'm always online. I don't buy used games. I don't trade games in. It doesn't affect me. And that's great. If it doesn't affect you and you really want an Xbox One, by all means, go out and buy one. But me personally, I'm the same way. I, I'm always online. Probably 95% of the time or 99% of the time I'm on Xbox 360, I'm online. I don't really have too much internet problems. I never buy used games. I never trade in games. I don't believe in GameStop. I think they're a ripoff. And personally, I would probably want to download games, not necessarily have to get a ride or take the bus or walk to Walmart to buy a game. So downloading a game is just nice. It saves me a trip. But I will not be buying an Xbox One. I am getting a PlayStation 4 because the way I look at it is this is an opportunity to tell a major corporation like Microsoft we do not want these restrictions because the reality is it will affect millions of gamers and me I'm a gamer and I care about that these are my people this is my crowd and I don't want to see anyone not be able to play their game the other thing I constantly see as an argument is this whole smartphone argument. Even Don Matrix brought this up, talking about when the smartphone came out, a lot of people were against it. Now look at what the smartphone can do. It's amazing. The Xbox One is going to be like that. It will be amazing. You just have to get used to it. And I guess that is a good argument. The problem, though, is that the Xbox One is a gaming console. The number one reason to buy a gaming console is to play games. A phone is a phone. You buy a phone so you can call people. Now, smartphones, they can do a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of cool stuff, too. But the reality is, you're going to buy a phone to call people. And if you don't have internet, you can still call people on a smartphone. On the Xbox One, you will not be able to play games. That is terrible. So the whole smartphone argument is kind of like whatever to me, because that's the way I look at it. If Apple came out and said the new iPhone was going to have a function on there that if you don't have internet or if you lose your connection to internet, you wouldn't be able to make phone calls. Nobody would buy the new iPhone. Everyone would be so pissed about that because you can still call your family or your friends if you don't have internet if your internet is out or whatever what my point is is that PlayStation 4 is going to be where the gamers are if you are a gamer and you like to play if you're a hardcore gamer especially and if you play multiplayer games and you like to play against good players to have competition to go where the people are going for the social aspect because consoles are great for the social aspect on a PC a lot of times you can just text a lot on a console you can talk to people get to know people become friends with them so that's my main reason right there for going to PlayStation 4 
I want to go where the people are going, where the gamers are going, my crowd. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please like and favorite this video for me. Share it as well. Tell your friends about my channel. And also subscribe if you haven't. But besides all that, please have a nice day and peace out.